Hello, Marcus Lim here with Dark Crisis Worlds Without the Justice League hardcover. Now, so far in my coverage of all the Dark Crisis hardcovers, starting with uh, the uh, main storyline, Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths. Okay, and then we had Tales from uh, Dark Crisis as well. Okay, and so now this is the, the third and... I guess the third and last hardcover collection of, you know, Dark Crisis related stories. And in this case, it's uh, dealing with the, um, well, a lot of the members of the Justice League, Justice League um, themselves, who, if you know what happened in Dark Crisis, or, you know, like leading into Dark Crisis, the Justice League members have fallen, right, under the pariah. Pura has not let the heroes rest in peace, it says. So there you, there you go, it says. Instead, he has imprisoned the essence of Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, Black Canary, and more on custom-made worlds created from their innermost desires. Okay, so so yeah, so essentially that's what these series of stories are about. The innermost desires of these um, heroes who are sort of like, you know, imprisoned in a kind of sort of like an afterlife, a mental prison of sorts, okay? And this collects, as you can see, uh, is it, I think it's five issues. So, World's Ever Justice X Superman, and then Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, Green Arrow, and Batman, okay? So, for, now for me, I've never, I don't actually have any of those uh, original single issues so so I only vaguely know about what these stories are about so it should first be quite interesting okay and let me first of all just take off the jacket all right there you go that's what it looks like okay we'll see just this week Okay, let's get to it. So, let's have a look. <clears throat> so we start off with, let's say, I think, uh, what is it? Well, okay, talks a bit of context. Justice League has fallen in an epic battle against Pariah's Dark Army, Earth Defenders sacrifice themselves for the multiverse. So, you know, the heroes we know are dead, Superman, Batman, and the rest. Or are they? So, custom made worlds is imprisoning them in these custom made worlds. Okay? So, in a way, like you can think of these as Elseworlds Worlds stories. But these are like custom made worlds. Um, but what this allows us. To experience or so what it allows the creators like Tom King in this story, Superman one, is to explore I guess you know their innermost desires. Yes in the case of Superman right his innermost desire is to raise John Kent which we know in main continuity he never got to do so because John Kent just suddenly became a young adult right but it is a bit of a bittersweet thing too, because at, at some point John Ken has to go into war, right? So, so that's uh, Superman, and then we've got the Aquaman one here, um, which yeah, the artwork looks pretty nice. There's some kind of grand event happening there. <clears throat> so this is like a backup story, and then we have the Green Lantern one. Uh, which again is a uh, yeah, it's a thoughtful exploration, I guess, of John Stewart as both a builder and a, a defender, right? Just goes to show what makes John Stewart such a such a hero, right? Um, so yeah, so good one, this one, and then the backup one is about Hawker. Okay, Hawker also uh, features. In the in the story, 
And then the Wonder Woman one shot, right? Is once again a great character study of this character. Uh, I guess it emphasizes her hope, her sense of justice that keeps keeps her going. And I think this one actually has a bit of a twist at the end as well. <clears throat> and uh, Martian Manhunter. This is a bit of a like a noir. Uh, story involving the Martian Manhunter, which I uh, suits him pretty well. And then we get to the Green Arrow one. Uh, the Green Arrow one, it's more like a, I guess, a romance one <laughs> between uh, you know Green Arrow and the uh, and the Black Canary. Um, because those two have a connection, obviously. But we also get to see Pariah um, as well in the backup story with Black Canary and Pariah. Okay, finally we get to uh, Batman. Uh, the Batman one is, yeah, it's uh, what, I think there's a character called the Architect and then uh, and then there's Batman himself, I think it's called the Knight. <laughs> so again, right, just uh, uh, really stripping down the, uh, the, the character and see what makes him tick is what the this series of stories are so good at doing. And then finally, so this is I guess at the uh so yeah a, a good wrap up here right of the of all these stories with Zatanna and <laughs> let's go kick some universe distorting ass. And we get to the gallery section okay variant covers for the Superman one, the Green Lantern one, another Green Lantern, Wonder Woman one, uh, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, oh sorry, Green Arrow, Green Arrow, and Batman, Batman, and that's it. Yeah, so a series of, you can think of them as I guess anthology collection, right? Because it's essentially it's just a collection of stories involving these characters. Um, as I mentioned already, it feels a bit like Elseworlds style stories. You know, what what might have been, what could be. Get to really explore each character's innermost desires and dreams, that sort of thing. And I guess in that sense, right, this is actually... Uh, what the whole, because it, the whole, the Dark Crisis, right, the intent was to explore the idea of power, uh, well, legacy and loss, the power of legacy and loss. And so I think this series of stories really shows that, or, like, explore that idea in a way that's probably more, uh, detailed than what they could do in like the main story, the, the main uh, storyline itself, okay? So in that sense, yeah, this this series of stories, I think, well worth um, going through. In many ways, they might just be the <laughs> highlight of uh, the whole Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths uh, event. Because we know, obviously, that these heroes, they didn't really die. They were only out for a little bit, <laughs> and then they came back. But this is why, you know, these series of one-shots, they take advantage of that setting to really dig down on each character, uh, giving us a good glimpse of what makes them tick. So that's it, Dark Crisis, Worlds Without a Justice League hardcover. Do check it out. Hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you in another video.